Ray, 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 look at that. You see that? That is all the people watching you be a cute little puppy. Okay, baby. All right, shall we, shall we do the video now? Is, is that what you want to do? Shall we do the video? Shall we? Shall we? Okay, let's do the video. What's up gaming heroes, my name is Erosium and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can record any game you want using Streamlabs OBS with a separate face cam so that at opportune moments in that video you can zoom in on your face without disrupting the rest of your footage. This should allow you to have the best type of footage for your gaming videos on YouTube. We're also going to be looking at how you can have the best settings on Streamlabs OBS to record your gaming videos and also your face cam to make sure you get the best quality for your YouTube videos. Let's look at the settings on Streamlabs OBS to make sure we can get the very best settings so that when we go over to uh, Premiere Pro, we can make sure that we are editing the best footage possible. So I was looking through YouTube at some of my favorite YouTubers such as Markiplier and I saw in their videos that are really opportune funny moments. They have this ability that the webcam just zooms in uh, when when they give the the webcam or the camera their eye contact it zooms in and they have a really funny opportunity of connection with their audience it kind of separates the game um, from the the content creator focusing on the game to suddenly looking at the audience like oh my gosh did that really just happen so it goes undisputed that one of the funniest moments in gaming videos is when the content creator or the person that they're playing with in that game says something very stupid or does something very very stupid and they have that moment where they realize I just said something stupid didn't I and then they look at the, the webcam <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking at the audience and the audience are looking at them and they know that the audience is looking at them and they acknowledge that they just did something stupid. They are a little bit embarrassed about it, but they're playing it off because, hey, they're a good content creator and their mistakes are comedy. And those opportunities are comedy gold just to look at your audience and acknowledge, yes, I just said something very stupid, but I stand by it. And uh, yes, this is funny. Uh, just zooming in using your editing software and you, your recording, it just allows for that to take place on a greater level uh, it takes you from just being a very basic gaming video to something that's, that's crisp professional and looks very very good okay guys as we're about to look at streamlabs obs to find out the best settings for recording your videos make sure you smash that like button it really really helps the youtube algorithm thank you so much for anyone that does that let's get into the video so you guys watching this video right now you're seeing the face cam right it looks really cool you know i've got the nice light in the background i've got some nice lighting up front to make my face look fancy but really, that's not what is happening behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, it's completely different. Behind the scenes, it's this. As you can see, we've got the face cam on the left side here at 1920 by 1080p. And then we've got the actual screen on my monitor here, which is Streamlabs OBS. If I drag this over here, you'll see that it's my desktop here. So you can see that there's two different things here going on behind the scenes. Now you're probably wondering, Erosium, why do you record two full screens of both applications? Well, there's a really good reason behind it, guys. It's because Streamlabs OBS only allows one video file to be recorded at any one time. So that basically means it is impossible for you to have a separate webcam recorded on Streamlabs OBS while also recording gameplay at the same time. It just won't work. It won't allow you to record a separate video file of each. It wants to record it on one file. So with that being said, what we do is basically have a full screen for the webcam on the left side and a full screen for the gameplay on the right side then when we go to editing we can look at both those files and duplicate them so we get one that is purely just for the uh, the face cam and then one that is purely just for the gameplay so that when we want to do those opportune moments where you zoom in you get you capture a really funny moment it doesn't affect what your actual gameplay it only affects your face cam Okay, so now we're going to look at the settings that we use in Streamlabs OBS to make sure we get the highest quality footage uh, for everything that we are doing in terms of gaming, recording, or just recording in general. So let's get into it. So I open up settings, go to the bottom left-hand corner where it says uh, settings, the little cog. 
click that and then we're going to go straight down to video uh first of first so this is for if you're recording at 1080p we'll, we'll show you at 720p as well so that you guys can make sure you know uh, it's applicable for both so if you're a 1080p you know uh, recorder like myself you like to have those high quality videos uh, you need to typically record at 1920 times 1080 but that's only if you're doing one screen. If you want to have a separate face cam next to a screen with your gameplay on so that you can duplicate them as I spoke about previously and kind of have a separate face cam a video file to um, a separate gameplay file, this is what you need to do. You need to double 1920. So that is 3840, which basically stretches your actual screen to be much larger than it actually is. And that will allow you to have your face cam on the left side and your gameplay on the right side. It basically just allows you to have two full screens at 1920 by 1080. You don't need to change 1080 because that is the actual height of the video. That's going to stay the same. Uh, we can do all the other editing in in the actual editing program, uh, Premiere Pro, later on. The FPS is entirely up to you. I like to go for 60 FPS just because I like that high quality footage on whatever game it is I am playing. I like to make sure that everything's recorded at that, that level there. Okay, guys? Um... Past that, if you want to go for, you know, 720, if you want to go for 720p as your recording quality, all you need to do is change this, hit this number here to 720, and then it's usually by 1280, but you would double 1280, so that would be 2560 is what you put there by 720, and that would basically allow you to have a full screen on the left side of your face cam and a full screen of your gameplay on the right side, then go to output. Just on the side here so then we click output and we make sure the the output mode is in advanced okay guys and we would simply go over to recording just here and make sure that you've got your recording path which is where your video files save and uh, make sure you you've got the correct one there i typically like to each time i record something just name that video just so that i can make sure i don't delete it by accident uh, just if I'm quickly looking to clear up space on my external hard drive so my external hard drive is just there and it's all done uh, I always record in mp4 make sure that is mp4 because it's the highest quality for us and then I have two audio tracks currently but I am exploring a third at the second so I've got two audio tracks one is my microphone and the other one is my desktop sounds in the future I'm going to be adding a third in which is just my discord sounds so that I can make sure the people that I collab with have you know really good sound quality as well and I can edit that sound quality if I need to but um, for recording Recording, make sure your encoder is hardware uh, NVENC new and that is basically a new chip that they've been building into graphics cards which allows your graphics card to basically render your recording or encode your recording that much easier You're, it'll basically ensure that you get the highest quality for your videos uh, CBR is your rate control your bit rate is 4500 is really what you need I honestly have no idea why I've got it on 5000 uh, 4500 is what's suggested by twitch when you're uh, streaming at 1080p and to be honest that's all you need for uh, recording as well uh, quality the preset we obviously want quality because we want the the most we want the the highest quality for our footage so let's get that okay so now once you've done that we can pretty much close all this because we don't need it there is just one thing i want to make sure that you guys are doing um make sure that your base canvas is 380 40 and so is your output scaled because if your base canvas is 3840 um but your output put scale is still 1920 uh, this can basically just push all your video footage together to still be 1920 even though it says here uh, 3840 so apart from that all you need to do at that point is simply add a video capture device which is super easy you can just click the plus sign here and click add video capture device just that add source and then you can do it like that I'm going to cancel that because I don't need to I'm going to go to properties here and just make sure that you've got this set to resolution 1920 by 1080 and that way it's really simple for you to just drag it across to the side there and the same for your display capture you don't have to use display capture you can use a uh, gameplay capture which is where is it game capture just here um to me i like to use display capture because i often switch between the actual gameplay and what's on my main screen uh, my display screen as well so uh, it's very helpful so for my editing i personally like to use premiere pro i used to use a lot of sony vegas I had a really expensive product, but after like about six months, they basically brought out a new one and I felt very much like, 
you know, everything was starting to get slow, everything was starting to get a bit buggy. What I decided to do was go for Adobe Premiere Pro, which just pay the monthly uh, the monthly cost of that. And to be honest, I'm, I've never looked back. It's such a good program uh, for anyone using a free program out there that's just looking for that le next level of quality in their editing. Swap over to Premiere Pro, definitely suggest it. This isn't a sponsorship or anything like that. It's just really good. And, and I just genuinely think that everyone should be using this. Uh, so typically, I just name my file straight away, uh, my new project, and then uh, I always make sure that I'm in CUDA. And uh, let's click OK and let's start this up. Okay guys, so you can see just here that we've got some we've got some test footage here for the video. I've just decided to open up a random game which was Minecraft, my single player world. And very simply from here, we're just going to uh, basically show you how you can separate the video files um, at this point. So you can see that we've got uh, the, the entire screen which is stretched here. We don't want to have the stretch. We want to reduce this down now to 1920. So let's let's basically let lower that. So the sequence settings needs to be changed to uh, 1920. So you see 3840, we need to get that down to 1920 once again. And uh, you can see it just here. Click OK. Yes, I understand. So now you can see that this condenses it right down and uh, the screen's a bit looking a bit weird here. That's fine. Do not worry. We're going to separate these files. The files still exist. It's just on the, the outside here. So we need to duplicate the, the video file here. Simply hold Alt, click the file here and then drag up once. This will basically duplicate the video. And uh, the reason we're doing this is the top one is going to be the face cam and the bottom one is going to be the gameplay. All right, guys. So with that being said, let's go here to when you're at effects, uh, we're doing the, the face cam first, guys. Okay. Uh, simply come over to trans uh, to video effects just here on the left side and come down to where it says transform. Okay. And transform, we need to crop. Okay. So we're going to drag and drop this crop edit onto the top one just here. We're also going to drag and drop this one onto the one below because I'm going to need that later on. So I'm going to drop it there as well. Okay, so once that's done, uh, the edit's been added, nothing is going to get cropped straight away. You need to go to effect control because you've added effect, uh, you added the effect and now you need to control the effect. All right, so let's go over to effect control just here. And uh, this will show a bunch of different edits that we can make here. So as you can see that you can see crop is here because we've added that effect to it. So we need to click crop and we need to work out where we want to crop it. So this is the face cam. So I believe we need to crop the right side um, and usually by 50% because that is halfway through the footage. And at this point, we can move this across now because it is cropped at 50%. We can... Uh, you can still see the video footage here behind because this is there. But if I get rid of that, you can no longer see it. So if I drag this across now, because we want to basically position this in the in the center uh, so that we can crop it correctly. All right. So let's position this across. Oh, that's that's up. So let's uh, it's this one here. So in order to drag it across, you simply need to click here and just drag it across to uh, wherever it works for you best. So just make sure that there is kind of no... Uh, no black edges here at all. Do not worry if there, if there is a little bit of black edges. It's complete fine. We will uh, we will we'll sort that out. Uh, is it because of that? There we go. All right, and we can drag that back across now. That should work. Okay, perfect. Now, that is done like that, but in all honesty, we aren't going to have a full face cam for this because we, we want to basically scale it down. I don't need all this kind of empty space on the webcam as well, so I'm going to be cutting that off as well. So for left, so we need to make sure we click on the right video f file here. So for the left one, we need to just add as much as you want. So I'm going to add, I'd say, about there. I'm quite happy with, yeah just about that section here. So I've gone for 8% on the, the left side. And on the right side, we've already got 50%, but we're going to increase that a little bit more as well. Uh, so there we go. Let's go to about there. Okay, I, I'm quite happy with that there because I feel like that gets uh, that encapsulates my face really well. And then we're going to scale that down because we aren't going to have it you know, covering the entire screen. So let's simply scale that bad boy down. And uh, you, it's as easy as literally just position right now. So with that positioned, we can, uh, to, to drag it, you just need to click position at the top here, and then you, it allows you to drag it on screen, which is quite helpful. And you can simply just drag it to wherever you want. And this is a separate video file now, which is really, really helpful. Now, if we uncover this video here, you can see we've still got the video here, so we need to now edit this second video just there. Um, 
Right, okay, so let's go over to, click the second video there, and go over to Effect Controls. We're going to go to Crop, but this time instead of cropping the left, uh, the right side, we're going to crop the left side. So we need to go up to 50% um, on the, the left side, so 50, there you go. And then we simply just need to position the video all the way across perfectly like that. And the video is perfect. There we go. I, I have noticed actually that the video isn't fully lined up correctly. So I do want to make sure that is correctly lined up. Lovely jubbly. That's perfect. That's looking really good. All right, guys. So now we've got our video file all kind of sorted. Uh, the webcam's looking really nice. The gameplay's looking really nice. We want to zoom in on our face. How do you do that? How do you make it look smooth? How do you make it look crisp? Okay, so it was this stage here where I kind of look at the bumblebee, and I, I think it's a really funny opportunity here to kind of zoom in to zoom in and uh, and capture some of these facial expressions because they are really, really funny. Uh, so with that being said, we need to make sure that we are going to lock this position here so that we can come back to kind of how the webcam looks right here. So uh, simply click position and uh, lock and then click scale and also lock that as well. We want to make sure we're locking both of those things there. All right, now we need, we're going to zoom us ahead slightly. Let's, let's drag these back actually so it starts a bit earlier and then we want to zoom in, so we need to scale the, the video file, just be up a little bit. So let's take it up to about 65, and we need to position it just slightly different. So let's uh, drag that across, like so. And that will create basically uh, two new keyframes where the file is zoomed in like so. Uh, let's just make sure we click that. Okay, right. So that will zoom in, and it will stay like that until you return it back to its original size. Uh, to do that, you simply need to uh, hold shift when you're clicking these. So click these two keyframes here and press control C, which is copy. Then simply when you want to zoom back out, you simply paste those back in and you'll find that basically uh, that will uh, return the footage back to as it as it was. So, all right, so you can see the footage here is like typically small and it's going to zoom in as it gets to the bumblebee and... Uh, and it's going to look really nice and smooth. Look at that. See, you got some facial expressions. And then we're going to zoom back out. Now we're done with that. And it's nice and smooth. And we're back to the normal size. The keyframe is perfect. And if we want to do that again, it's as easy as literally copying this right here and doing the same thing over and over again. And uh, that is also how you just get the, the best quality video possible within gaming. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, do me a huge huge favor and smash that like button it really helps the youtube algorithm and do me a huge favor click subscribe i do make gaming videos quite regularly i make them monday and wednesday we have a new gaming video every monday wednesday and every friday we have a, a another how-to tutorial so you guys can learn along with me how to make the best videos or how to do the best type of streams that you can i hope to see you in the future guys this is rosie amal and you have yourself a wonderful wonderful day gaming heroes <laughs>